Billingham Stars TV on a Sunday night here with Stephen Foster. Um, I think it's fair to say a hugely successful weekend, uh, Stephen. Four points and lots of goals and a confidence high going into a, a big, big weekend next weekend. Yeah, it is. And I think the boys have done really well recently as a whole. You know, that since we've come back after Christmas, boys have really been focused and um, really all playing for each other, which is obviously which is obviously brilliant. And you can see that on the ice. The fans appreciate that, you know, there, and, and, and it all just seemed to be, you know, the challenge quite well together. We'll get to, to D side in a minute, but we'll, we'll, we'll start t tonight's game. Strangely, it may seem it looked like we, we we took a while to to get used to playing games back at the forum again, because it's been three, four weeks, so... That first period, a bit of adjustment, getting back to the small ice in a game situation, and then once we got settled, that was it. Yeah, I think also that we got back really late last night, so you've got to give them a little bit, a little bit of leeway for that. You've played away, you've played in Wales last night, got back late, so it, it takes a little bit of time to get the get the legs going, and obviously once they do, the, the lads will fly. And the middle period, as we've shown a lot this season, capitalise on, on mistakes or opportunities, power plays, Three goals in just over two minutes. Again, scoring in bunch of that as we've done, and and kind of put witness to the sword. Yeah, I think I think what's what's more important from Rob and my point of view is it's how we do with our end. That's that's the thing that we really really want to do well defensively. And we haven't been letting many goals up, and that's something that we've got to still think, keep getting better. Because some of the times we give a few opportunities away that we shouldn't be. We can be better. Um, so. So those things are good. I think our reference is just taking care of itself. All the boys are just gelling up there. They're moving the puck around well. They're making it hard to defend against, which is which is always what you want to do. You know, quick retention is getting better. Where before we were just dumping it in more and then having to go and get it after we've worked hard to get in the zone. So, so that's all working quite well. And you know, it, it's what we want moving forward. And it's something that we're going to have to do. You know, we've got some real tough games coming. Yeah, um, you mentioned D side the, the the Saturday road trip. Um, going into that one, we, I told the, to their coach ahead of the game we've had three one goal games. We expected another close battle, but again, flying start as we did for the the second Saturday running and just he took the game away for them in an instant. Yeah, particularly I mean again it was a long road trip down there, so the boys cramped up on a smaller bus yesterday as well. So. Um, they did well to, you know, get themselves up for the game, and you know, when when you're on the when you're on the winning side, it, it helps. You know what I mean? It, it's easy to get up and up. Everybody gets each other up because even when things are going tough or not quite your way or whatever, then everybody's rallying together, and, and that team spirit really is taking them forward. You know, they've got a good change room there, uh, and that. The team spirit, it's, it's like having an extra player now, it's because like, they're all there for each other, the communication is getting better as well, so we, we reap the rewards of that right now, and um, it's something we've just got to keep going forward. Yeah, and end of weekend, the second in the table, I know Whitney have still got games in hand, but as, as things stand, going into a, a cup final, second in the league, you couldn't really be happier. Well, yeah, at the end of the day, we've just said since Christmas, it's one game at a time. Obviously, we've known this cup has been coming up, you know, for a few weeks now. Um, but we don't take, we, we haven't took our eye off of the, the next game, and then the next game, and the next game. We, we've just got to keep focus, and that's the same now. You know, we've got a cup final this weekend, two games. Um, Friday, Saturday, which is obviously going to be a, a tough one for us. Um, but again, it's one game at a time. Let's get the Friday up in Solway out of the way. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll do our best up there. We'll try and keep it tight and take our opportunities like we have been. Then come back here and hopefully um, we'll we'll do the job back here as well. Across the across the weekend, um, 17 goals. Ford's got the man of the match on us, but defensively, and and we've got. Tommy played a game and got Jacob to play it tonight, which is which is again been a huge thing we've been able to do this season. Give give both guys plenty of ice time. So yeah, you're happy with the the back end of the of the team as well. Yeah, I mean starting at the back, obviously Tommy did the job for us last night. Last night made some big saves for us, you know, when he had to. Wasn't the busiest last night. Same as Jacob came up trumps when he needed to, um, and kept us in the game just in case it just stopped getting any any closer. So so they've done great. The defence. Obviously, we've got quite a lot of defenders now. Obviously, even with Paddy, we've got eight defenders, eight stroke, nine defenders there in the team. So, 
right now that we, we're just trying to get them to play ready for the playoff run, cup run and stuff like that because there's an odd space there, it's, the, it's a 6D man for some of them and you know, it's the creating some offence and they're moving the puck better so you know, there's competition for places there as well so they're all trying the hardest and, and that's shown and, and they've just got to keep getting better and better and the experienced ones with Andy coming back into the, into the fold now He's able to support the, the younger ones there, and they can learn from him too. Yeah, and finally, we've, we've said it, we've said it a lot this year, but first home game for nearly a month. The crowd have come back again, again more new faces, more new fans. That will only continue, hopefully, as the as the running happens and the support again. Fantastic tonight. Absolutely. I mean, we we, we can't ask any more of the the fans are there for us week in week out now. Like you say, there's there's new ones coming. Just seeing another couple come down the night was oh yeah, we'll be back. We we loved it. I am so this we've got a good product on the ice, excitable. You know, particularly when times are tough for people, you've got to decide when you're gonna spend your money, when you're not gonna spend your money. You know, there's a lot of other sports out there, pretty boring sports and this this is capturing, you know, people now by its exciting, there's lots of shot lots of shots out there, there's plenty of goals, it's physical, um, and obviously they come on back which is which is fantastic.